Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Wednesday at FIFA 21, and it looks like we're getting another guaranteed tots, just like last week. We're having the double Serie A team of the season, most likely released this week, just like the bonus league that was last week. So I want to talk about that and where that SBC is priced, if it's good value, if it's not, how the market reacted yesterday to the Eredivisie slash CSL and the Serie A tots guaranteed, and... Uh, what's going to be going on in the next day or so with rewards on the horizon, why we haven't had player SBCs, and how I kind of think the markets may be transitioning towards League One already, and how Serie A Tots might be losing some steam. But quick note before we get into it, I'm actually going to be taking a quick holiday with the family over the next three days or so. Uh, so the videos may not be just me here at my setup. I have a couple pre-recorded ones where we're going to look into the future, like past team of the season at the Euros. And just also how to make coins in this current state of the market in the late game in FIFA 21. So if you see some videos from the phone, I don't know if you guys are watching the channel like in December or so. We were, we were doing some videos from the companion app. Uh, we might have a couple of those coming this week. Uh, but I'll be back here on the weekend and everything will continue per usual then. So just wanted to get that out of the way. You'll see more information on that on Twitter if you are interested. But let's get into this because... There are some key things we need to talk about related to these Serie A Tots and the guaranteed SBCs. Now, yesterday, just like last week, they did the double, right? They dropped the Serie A Tots and the Eredivisie or CSL, so the main league and the secondary league at the same time. The Eredivisie SBC, W, right? The secondary league won 27,000 coins, 82 rated squad, good value, right? You have a chance at hitting the, uh, of course, the Malin, the Dumfries, the Alessandrini, all those types of cards. And of course, in the Serie A, I don't think the Serie A Tots guaranteed is that bad of value either. But the one one reason that I think why this is coming out again today, 15 hours remaining on that SBC. That means it was only released for 24 hours. And that means, in my opinion, they're going to release another one today on Wednesday. They kind of suck you in with the first one say, oh, you only got 24 hours to do it. Then they're going to release another one. So I think that's 100% coming today. Probably going to have the exact same rating. And you're going to see the market probably react sort of in the same way again today. Because I think we also might see another one of these 84 plus rare player picks. Because that SBC is expiring today on Wednesday as well. So I think it would be in EA's best interest if they're trying to rinse coins off this game one more time. To release another Serie A Tots guarantee today. Another player pick or upgrade pack of sorts. Uh, most likely another player pick because we haven't had any packs added to the code as I'm recording this video right now that would be like Serie A specific. Uh, and then hopefully another player SBC or two, but we'll talk about that in a second. But of course, with all the SBCs, well, the two SBCs that came out yesterday with the, the both the guaranteeds, 83s and 84s and 82s. So the 82 to 84 range is what you saw go up the most on that lower tier end because an 86 rated squad... Yeah, some of the 85s went up, some of the 86s went up, but they're actually kind of back down. The 82s, the 84s are staying high. And if you sold any of these in the hype today, I think that was a good shout. I also think today on Wednesday is going to be your time to get out on most of the rest of the fodder because I wouldn't trust and wouldn't wait for what's going to come out on Thursday with rewards and expect you know this stuff to go up even further after the reward supply comes in, unless we have big time SBCs coming. Uh, but of course, only EA knows that. So if you have a lower rated fodder, 82 to uh, the 85 range, I would say maybe get it out. Even I mean, all fodder in general, I'd probably get it out around the Wednesday today at the content drop. Hopefully we get some other big SBC as well. Uh, the 86s haven't moved much, right? They're like 21,000 coins. They're up maybe 1,000, 2,000 coins. Again, the lower tier stuff is where the market moves the most. Unless we would get some sort of like player pick icon or a hugely hyped icon pack, that would require multiple 86 or 87 rated squads or even an 88 rated squad. That's what it's going to take to move this higher tier fodder. And we have not seen that yet. So again, this lower tier stuff is the move. I think it jumps up again with demand today from another Serie A Tots guaranteed. And hopefully we get some Serie A player SBCs, man. Because as of right now on this game, we've only had Immobile. We've only had Nangolan and Lozano. That's only three Serie A Tots SBCs. And last week, the last two weeks... We would have had like five to six SBC players from the main league as of right now. So again, my prediction of the Serie A kind of being a breather week is really coming true because the hype this week has been a lot lower in terms of SBC content, definitely on this game. We had the Fellaini yes, or two days ago, which was decent, right? Uh, maybe an Eredivisie player today since we haven't had an Eredivisie SBC. I know we have Antonin Objectives, 
but there's that there. But I think there's just a lot of Serie A hype that could be had here with SBCs. You know, big name players that don't have any TOTS cards. We could have an SMS. We could have a Zlatan, of course. People are still hoping for that, myself included. Uh, Dybala and Kulusevsky, those are some names that people are throwing out that could delict as well, potential SBC. So we'll see what happens with that. Hopefully we have a couple more of those as the week goes on. Um, but also what's just going on in this game right now with the market is gold rares are through the roof, right? And you can still fluctuation trade. This, these are all cards I bought yesterday when the guarantees dropped. This Gonsalves I bought for 110,000 coins-ish, up to, back up to 130. This was bought at 300K. These were bought at 85, 113, 84, and both of these at 139 and 140. And I still have some to go, of course, uh, right now on my transfer list. So just kind of fluctuation trading because there is going to be some selling because people have to sell cards to go do these SBCs, right? Because they can't all do them from the club and it's just going to cost people to sell some stuff so they can go buy fodder. And that's why you're seeing the movements that you do see. So I would expect a little bit of that today, but I also think on the second day, there might not be as much panic because there's not Unless there's a big time player SBC, we'll have to see, or an, an 84 plus that maybe cause a little bit more panic. Um, but with those price drops potentially coming in today, uh, I want to talk about what happened yesterday with Serie A cards. I don't really think that any of these Serie A tots cards, I would really try to say, hey, buy these during rewards or buy these today. Even though tots cards are usually cheaper around the Tuesday, Wednesday, early Thursday time frame. I don't feel like these Serie A TOTS cards are going to maintain their price for long because we're going to have League One team of the season that is way more hyped than this. People are probably saving packs for League One or Ultimate TOTS right now um, and not opening them for Serie A. That's seriously, there's so much hype around that League One that's going to be coming out. Uh, I just be very careful. If you want any of these for your team, the longer you wait, at least until we get towards Ultimate TOTS, the better, in my opinion. I think these cards are just going to continue to drop off in price, most of them. Some of them might kick back up a little bit, but most of them, especially as we near Ultimate Tots, people sell a lot of stuff for Ultimate Tots because again, the big boys are coming out and they wanna have coins ready for packs or they wanna have coins ready to go buy the card that they wanna try when the prices drop. So just be very careful with these. But for the rest of the out of packs market, right? Like I was looking at the Pedro Gonzalez and Otavio, Pedro's kinda of back down, so is Otavio, right? These guys are consistently fluctuating and they'll probably drop again today when there is a little bit of panic. These cards actually dropped a decent amount today and these guys are very rare. Now, Lewandowski is showing extinct right now. I don't think that's correct. Um, but again, these cards are so rare. Wow, Kimmich is showing as extinct as well. What the heck? Are we going to check this right now? I think we're about to check this right now, bro, because that's kind of wild. These Bundesliga Tots cards are so rare um, that they, again, fluctuate so much in price. Yeah, Kimmich is on the market. I think Footpin's just messing up. But Lacroix, right? This is a card that I want to look at right now. Le, the Lacroix center back card, he was 420,000 coins earlier today, which he's actually back down. This guy goes between 420 flat and 450 all the time. So you snag one at like 410k right there, and then boom, you're going to be able to, to sell that. Oh, I just got a sale. Nice. You're going to be able to sell that at like 450,000 coins, and that's really, really easy profit. Like uh, Holland is another one. He was down to 600k flat yesterday. And he bounces back to 650. Again, super duper rare. So watch these cards as we head into rewards. Even like Neuer. A lot of people are probably still going to run their back lines unchanged. So I would watch Neuer this week. Even though he has a reputation of not being very good in this game. He's 150, 160K at the moment. He's actually up right now. Neuer, goodness me, dude. He was 140 earlier today. So if this guy drops back down to the 140s, I think a lot of people are still going to be rocking and Babu. Tapsoba, Lazaro, players like that where they need the Bundesliga links. I'd keep an eye out for this card. Just watch for your out-of-packs cards, basically, is, is the gist of what I'm saying. Watch your out-of-pack specials maybe getting uh, sold off today when the SBC comes out, if it's good content. Um, and there might be a potential to kind of fluctuation trade those cards, buy the panic, and sell a little bit later when that panic subsides and the cards kind of rebound. Like my Real Mourinho, I bought at 140, sold mine at 157, he's back to 150. So I'd watch out for that sort of stuff today. And again, another thing that people are doing right now in this game is, I don't think it's very smart, but gold rares are through the roof. I mean, if you invested in gold rares this week, you're making a killing because these guys are 1.5, 1.6K selling there um, because people are going ham on these Serie A player picks because yes, they're really OP, really easy to pack blues, but still, that's a lot of coins. So I'm going to be waiting to do any upgrade SBCs 
until Thursday. See, I'll try out the companion app luck and see if it's OP, but uh, I think Thursday is going to be the time frame to do any more of those upgrades. If you're trying to snag a Ronaldo, that's going to be your best chance in my opinion. And I think today, if the content continues to be not so hot this week, you're going to see more and more people start to look at League One special cards and French special cards. And I want to speak a moment about the French specials because I feel like there's some cards in here that might be going under the radar. I mean, guys that are cheap that were expensive, right? Look at this Areola, 72,000 coins for the only French special card goalkeeper. I keep talking about this guy every week. He went up last week, even with all of the Bundesliga links that were out there. I know that like Lacroix and Roussillon had the uh, French links, even with Bundesliga. If we don't have a French goalkeeper as a part of League One Tots, so Mike Magnan, if he is not as a part of the League One team this season and it's a cheeky Kaylor Navas, then this card is going to maintain a lot of value and it's going to go up this next weekend and the next two weeks because he's, again, the only French special goalkeeper on this game. And as people have guys like Mukiele, Lacroix, they have guys um, like Fofana, right, that are French links that they can't just, you know, link strong link to a goalkeeper. They have two different, like Lacroix and Fofana. They need a French goalkeeper, right? So I think that's why this guy is still maintaining a decent amount of value and he's decent in game as well. So keep an eye on this guy, right? I would keep an eye on him, keep an eye on Neuer, and just your entire market of the out-of-pack specials. I don't know if anything other than like some Serie A specials and some of the League One special cards are really going to rise up a lot this week at rewards. I'm a bit scared about that because I don't think this market really has enough juice, I guess, or enough desire with League One tots coming to really get involved with any of that. Now, this SE and I bought one at 300K earlier today, sold at 327 but I think icons are going to be a move. If you're going to try to Thursday flip this week, I think icons might be your move. Um, those even dropped today around the content drop. I was watching a baby Eto, I think. Um, even Pushkas Middle, I was watching him. Um, so low 600s for this Eto. There was he was under 600k for a small amount of time. I was watching oh Dalglish Middle was a card I was watching too, and this guy was like 325K at his lowest, but he goes back up to like 350, 360. You can see overnights in the 370, 380 range, there's a 340 right there. So open bids, again, with the way this market is, and we're gonna, there'll be a video that later this week talking about this, open bids are kind of the name of the game right now in FIFA, just with the way it is, and the more rare a card is, the more it's gonna fluctuate, and that means more potential profit for you. So I'd focus on the rare cards again. Well, that is all kind of talked about in that video coming out later on this week. Now also big game today, big, big game today. Road to the final cards still have some action left and some life left in them, right? This Rashford card was 1.2 mil during Prem Tots, went all the way back down to 880 and is back up around a million coins where he is kind of chilling on the PlayStation. He's still about, you know, high 900s on the PlayStation is, or on the Xbox as well. If there's any hype with these cards, when let's like Manchester United, obviously big favorite today, right? The Fred card, everybody's got that one done. They want to see the upgrade. So when Man U scores their first goal and that upgrade is quote unquote locked in for this Rashford, um, if he does shoot up in price, I think that might be your opportune time to sell because there's still a lot of people that have been holding on to this card for a while. And when you see a card kind of hit the end of its upgrade stage, if they win, you see that jump and then it goes down because again, that card is now no longer live, even though it's getting that upgrade and it could drop after the game today and then rebound back up towards the upgrade. I think I would still try to cash it out around the game time today. If you want to sell pregame and have no risk there, you could. Same thing with the Pogba card, right? I would say that for, for both of those Pogba and Rashford today for the road to the finals, uh, I think the hype is just, just kind of ending on these. So if, if you have either of them, I would 100% say like Pug was just so rare, right? 430,000 coins and the Rashford being at a mill. Since you since these guys are so rare and there's not many of them listed up, I mean, if you see the price shoot up today, of course, if they get scored on first, then that's an issue um, because then you're going to see maybe some <laughs> the, pr the price drop before it would come back up again. But if you're hoping for a Man U goal today, I would probably sell either right before the game or right after that first goal. That might be your best opportunity to cash out on these. But of course, uh, a Rashford getting a nice upgrade here would go into the 90 shooting, maybe 90 passing uh, categories, and it would look a lot more like his Tots card uh, than the uh, than than what this does right now. So that would be kind of interesting. By the way, Rashford Tots is he's still very good in game. He's very OP, uh, coming from a first owner untradeable pack pulled 
version of him, just a slight flex there. Anyways, uh, that's kind of how I feel about that game today. I just want to speak about that. Um, and yeah, I think again, we talked about fodder a little bit, but I think your highest point is going to be here in the not in the very recent future, right? Unless we get some big time SBCs today, I kind of see the game just kind of hovering where it's at and the hype starting to build for league one team of the season coming on Friday. That's kind of how I feel like it is. And again, EA feels like they kind of, you know, you know, loosened the ropes this week or, or reined it back in and brought it back in a little bit from the crazy content that we saw the past two weeks. Um, it's kind of quieted down a little bit, which makes sense, right? Because you have to have some ebbs and flow in the game. But I think people were expecting a big week this week, and it really hasn't lived up to it just yet. But hopefully, of course, people are hoping for a big week next week with League One, right? Mbappe, Neymar, I've already hearing people start to talk about what cards they think are going to be in, uh, leaks, stuff like that. I mean, we're, we're too early in the week, in my opinion, to have leaks yet uh, or legitimate ones. I don't know. I don't mess around with that stuff. But... Later on this week, we'll probably hear some more information about those cards that are going to get into the League One team of the season. So again, if you want to buy any of these TOTS cards that are in packs, serial-wise, I'd hold off. I still think that I'd be waiting. And uh, watch your out-of-packs cards today for more movement around. Um, you know, even some of your, your League One ones, right? I like this Le Melu card. This would be a card. It, I do think there will be a little bit more selling today when we see that guaranteed TOTS SBC come out. This guy was 35K. I picked one up. He was 42K before content, 35K after with the panic selling. So if we get an 84 plus player pick today or some sort of upgrade pack and the guaranteed TOTS, I think it'll create a window where you might see some selling where you can actually buy in on some cards, whether it's icons, whether it's League One specials or some Serie A specials and have them go up a little bit after awards and into this next week um, with the League One Tots coming out. And a lot of people will probably look to invest in some of those cards today. And also, little tip, just watch the French nationality icons, right? I mean, those could be a big bang this next week as well. French nationality is so big on FIFA. Also, gold Neymar and Mbappe. I mean, we were looking at these guys on stream. Neymar was like 125,000 coins at uh, before the content drop, and he went down to 115. Right now, he's kind of chilling at 123, 124. Uh, so, you know, people are going to invest in these as well, just like they did with Ronaldo last week. But the thing with Neymar and Mbappe is, if they both get into team of the season, that means that these guys' gold cards are going to be out of packs for two weeks straight. And that's going to make some people want to invest in these. So I think you're going to see gold Mbappe and Neymar both start to go up in price as we head into the later part of the week this week with the League One coming once again. So that's where all the hype is kind of starting to build very quietly, right? Very quietly. But hopefully today, EA drops some big boy SBCs. That would be very fun. And we're going to try to make some coins off of that fluctuation if possible. But if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. I'll be back on the weekend in a couple days when I'm back from hanging out with the fam. And we will continue the normal setup and the normal uploads then. But until then, stay cool. Make sure you pack Ronaldo or do your best to pack Ronaldo. And uh, hopefully it's a hype Friday with League One team of the season. Make sure you check out the links in the description with the Clips channel. I'll be active on the YouTube. I'll still be trying to post some TikToks here and there. Um, and then, of course, some other uploads that will be on the YouTube this week. So I'll still be here, just not in my normal capacity. But we'll be back soon and uh, hit it like normal for ultimate team of the season and for the second half of League One and into the summer of course. But again, it's been Nate the Foot Accountant, and have a good day with your second guaranteed Tots guaranteed pack, Pack Ronaldo. All right. It's been Nate. I'll catch you later. Peace out.